Hi guys, my name is Francis Namdi and welcome to Storytime with Moa. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing a story about a certain day where I was chilling, doing me and quite honestly, I was less busy. Due to my idleness, my mind wandered to a place I would love to call Naughty Island. Sort of that classic saying of an idle mind is the devil's workshop along those lines. Of course, while my mind wandered, I had the option of distracting myself with reading a book, calling a friend on the phone, going out for a walk, or going to the mall, but I wasn't interested in any of that. So I indulged with where my mind had wandered off to. Of course, this led me to my phone, where I started a flirty chat with a lady, who I later invited to my place. And oh, she was willing and available. I felt really lucky that day to know I'm about to get my freak on, if you know what I mean. As a guy man now, I was pleased with her willingness that I found an unusual motivation to clean my place, wash my dishes, do my laundry, even do some workout because I was of the impression that I had to be fit and ripped for my sinful adventure. Fast forward to the night of that day, I slept like every normal human being would and I had a dream, except this was not your typical kind of dream, where you see an obvious scenery of a person or people placed in a specific place doing specific things. It was all blank scenery. But two things stood out for me and that was me being conscious of the lady and a huge wave of negative emotions attached with that. Now, by God's grace that day, I woke up the following morning thinking about the mysterious experience I just had the previous night. And even in the early hours of that particular morning, the negative emotions were still profoundly felt by me. The emotions I felt from that dream gave me a bad vibe that particular morning. But regardless, as a man, you know, there was this die-hard approach to my pursuit for pleasure. Like I was even convincing myself why I should continue on my sinful adventure even after such a mysterious warning. I mean, that was the only reasonable explanation I could make up for the dream I had the previous night. After a long thought on the issue, the African side of me kicked in, which enabled me to view the whole situation from a more spiritual lens and cautioned me to abort the mission. Now I am not in any way asking you all to live a holy life at the snap of a finger. But if you can, especially in a time like this in society, I'm sure God will be proud of you all. And I for one, I am a work in progress myself. But until God's righteous work is perfect in you, you will most likely find yourself being inconsistent with your righteous work in God. And when you find yourself caught up in moments of weakness, and you find the Spirit of God in you has decided to work over time in warning you about either a person, a business deal, or as in my case, a pleasure-seeking adventure. Please heed to his voice. He may not speak in ways that are familiar to our five senses, but he does speak. As the Word of God says in the book of John 10, 27, my sheep hears my voice and I know them and they follow me. I guess the real question here is, are you really his sheep? Now for more stories like this, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on all social media platforms, leave a comment down below and share this video to reach as many people as possible. Hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.